やっとできたアセトアニリドにクロロリュウ酸を混ぜりゃパラアセトアミドベンゼンクロロスルホン酸でそこにアンモニアぶち込んだパラアセトアミドベンゼンスルホン酸アミドを塩酸で煮た料理があれな Understanding complex topics has numerous benefits for any individual. From gaining knowledge and respect in social circles to being able to think more clearly and make more informed decisions, there are many advantages to mastering complex topics. By understanding complex topics, you are proving your intelligence and demonstrating your capability to understand higher level concepts. It shows that you have invested time and effort into expanding your knowledge base, which is always a sign of intelligence in the eyes of others. This can open many doors for you in terms of career prospects, personal relationships, and more. Additionally, learning about complex topics can help you develop critical thinking skills, make better decisions, and become more creative. It can give you the tools to find solutions to problems that may not have been possible without a full understanding of the subject matter. In short, understanding complex topics can give you an edge in any situation. In other words, people will need you as a result of your understanding. The First Principles Method First Principles is based on the idea that knowledge can be built from a set of basic assumptions or building blocks. First principles thinking requires a person to question the fundamentals of an issue and form an answer based on their own observations and experience. In essence, it involves breaking down the most basic components of a problem, analyzing them, and constructing a new solution or understanding. This approach has been utilized in numerous fields, from physics to philosophy to economics. By understanding the underlying principles, one can gain a much more comprehensive understanding of any subject. Why should you use the first principles? Using first principles to learn a subject has several benefits. Deep understanding. First principles are the fundamental concepts or basic building blocks upon which a subject is built. By using first principles to learn a subject, you gain a deeper understanding of the subject matter because you are starting from the basics and working your way up. Creative problem solving. When you understand the first principles of a subject, you can use them to solve problems in creative and innovative ways. By breaking down complex problems into simpler components, you can find new solutions that may not have been apparent before. Adaptability When you learn a subject using first principles, you are able to adapt to new situations and contexts more easily. By understanding the core principles, you can apply them to a variety of situations and use them to solve different problems. Independence. Learning from first principles allows you to be more independent in your learning. You do not have to rely on memorization or rote learning to understand a subject. Instead, you can use your own reasoning and critical thinking skills to gain a deeper understanding of the subject matter. Innovation. By using first principles to learn a subject, you are able to think creatively and come up with new ideas and innovations. This can be especially useful in fields such as science, technology, and engineering where innovation is critical. How does Senku Ishigami use the first principles? Senku Ishigami from the popular anime series Dr. Stone is a character renowned for his incredible intelligence. He possesses an ability to analyze complex topics, find solutions to complex problems, and develop new technologies in seemingly impossible scenarios. But how does Senku do it? One of the major ways Senku is able to understand and analyze complex topics is through the use of first principles. First principle is a problem-solving approach that breaks down complex concepts into their most fundamental parts. This allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the concept and its implications. Additionally, it is based on deductive reasoning rather than relying on existing assumptions and often provides a fresh perspective on a problem. Senka uses this method to great success in Dr. Stone, where he is able to determine the most efficient solution to any given problem by breaking down the concepts into their most basic form. For example, when Senka needed to develop glass in the wilderness, he first broke down the process into its most basic components, such as sand and fire. From there, he determined how to manipulate each component into its desired form until he arrived at a workable solution. In Dr. Stone, 
Senku's success is largely due to his ability to think critically and break down problems into their most basic forms. This allows him to find creative solutions that would have otherwise been missed. The same method can be used by anyone seeking to gain knowledge and learn complex topics like Senka does. How can you use the first principles? When using first principles, it's important to start with a topic you're good at, so that you get familiarized with it. This will help you understand how to apply the method, before attempting to tackle more difficult topics. For example, if you're interested in mathematics, you may want to start by working through basic math equations before attempting to tackle more complicated ones. Once you're familiar with the basics, you can move on to more complex topics. When using first principles, it's important to break down the problem into its simplest form. You'll need to analyze each component thoroughly so that you can gain a clear understanding of how they all work together. This process encourages logical thinking and helps to build up your problem-solving skills. In addition to breaking down the problem into its most basic form, it's also important to think critically about the problem. Think about how different components may interact with one another, and consider alternate solutions that could be used. By considering multiple possibilities, you may be able to come up with a more efficient solution. Brutal Truth About Reality Unfortunately, I am going to be real with you. When it comes to learning complex topics, the truth is that it takes a great deal of time and dedication. It is not something that can be done overnight, nor is it something that can be mastered in a short period of time. It requires an immense amount of patience, discipline, and hard work. In fact, it can often take years to truly master a particular topic, as there is often so much material to cover and comprehend. Even, Senku Ishigami had to dedicate all his life to learning everything he can about science, before achieve such a great level of understanding. Furthermore, complex topics are usually extremely challenging, as they are often comprised of multiple parts that must be understood in order to make sense of the whole. Consequently, I want you to know that I am not showing you a method that will help you learn physics overnight. Rather, I'm giving you a method used by highly intelligent people, such as Elon Musk, Aristotle, Johannes Gutenberg, and many more. Besides, since those great thinkers use the first principle to get great results, why wouldn't you use it as well? If you are willing to put in the effort that comes with using the method, you too will achieve amazing results in your life, and will be a source of inspiration for everyone around you. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. I hope that my content continues to inspire, entertain, and inform you, and I look forward to sharing more with you in the future.